Viva la Tropica! Welcome to my first Let's Play of Let's Play Tropico 5. I'm Skyway from Buy the Games and welcome. I'm just in the process of naming my new dynasty and of course it will be El Skyway. And I've confirmed that and let's get started. While head of state of an economic strike in Ecuador, Bukarem offered professional coach Diego Maradona 1 million. Okay, never mind. Alright, let. Whoa, what, what, what just happened? No, no, no! Okay, let's go back. No, no, no. L. Skyquake. There we go, confirm. Now, I shouldn't push the red, the right click button. Uh, I do apologize for this. This is my own incompetence coming in. Alright, now, don't push the right button because that will be a problem. Name Alonso, that will not do. Not do at all. Um, Antonio, yes, that will do. Antonio L. Skyway, yes. That will do just fine. The text hidden rolls in Tropical 20% fast. That will be useful. Converts two votes when cheating on elections. Can $2,000 bonus starting money. That is, is actually a good one. Celebrity, foreign aid increased by 10%. Cheapskate, all constructions are 4% cheaper. I know which one is good. Um, general, I think, I think that for the first guy I'll take general. Caucasian, that's fine. Um, yeah, let's stick with phase one and let's say okay. And I think, yes, dictator, that's the one I want. But color should be blue. I want blue. Blue is my favorite color. Uh, it should be, yeah, that dark sky blue will work. The pants should be. Let's make the pants light ocean blue. That, that'll be a nice change of face. Uh, ball, no, you should have handsome hair. Um, wait, one of, yes, sort of a James Bond bad guy look. That'll work. Hair color red, no. Let's make it black, yes, a seniority dictatorship black hair color. That'll work. Dictator hat, nah, let Fedora, really? No. Um, army cap, baseball cap, biker helmet, cowboy, really? Uh, th this one is actually a cool one, I like that one, but no, going on. None. Uh, I think the dictator one will work. Yeah, let's, let's go with dictator. An accessory, what will we go? A linen, movie star, classy one. The cyclops, that's a cool one. No, the pipe actually works. But let's go with cigar for a uh, fa for a classic loop. Okay, let's go with a randomly generated map. Let's go with a large one. And yeah, there can be hills in it. Resources. Let's make it rich. Uh, don't want it too normal. And climate should also be normal. Confirm the settings. Yeah, let's start at the beginning because if you don't start at the beginning, then it really can hinder your pro progress at later stages of the game. So let's do that. Starting population 75, that is good. Starting money, yeah, let's start with 10,000. Economy, yeah, um, let's go with very low because economically it is already difficult. You don't want that even more difficult. Medium, yeah, that's good. Disasters occasional, yes, yeah, that's good. Victory by points, none, none, okay, yeah. Um, yeah, let's start the game. I have done one before, but um, I started in the World Wars instead of the um, colonial era, and it really bit me in the butt when I came to the modern times because I didn't build my city correctly. I'm just gonna pause here for a second, and then. The infrastructure really collapsed, and that is what led to my downfall. So I am hoping to rebuild my isolation much better in this one. Let's see what we got here. We got the team's office, the construction office. 
ranch for pigs and for country houses. Okay, the first thing we're gonna wanna do is get rid of this because I want this to be sort of the city plaza, you know, all of the European cities. I want to do something like that. The city plaza, you know, municipal, municipal building over here and the city plaza over here. That's sort of the thing I want to do, but before we can do that, let's start building. Build many yeah, roads. Yeah, let's do roads. Nope, not what I want to do. Like that. And that. This one I actually want to do like this. Okay, like this. The, the road system is kind of, kind of derpy sometimes because it is difficult, but actually let's uh, demolish this piece here, okay. Ah, come on. Alright, build many roads. Yeah, that's a bit better. And there we go, alright. So that's going to get there. And, alright, let's connect these roads up here. And do like this. And, okay. More like this, alright, and then let's demolish this road. There we go. Then what I want to do is here, build a, another teamster's office here. And a construction office here. So when I want to destroy this, I already have another, and then I can build the extra, so, uh, the, the two more of them over here, so that'll work out good. So let's unpause and get started. The severe yeah, undergarment shortage has halted His Majesty's military campaign. How are we expected to conquer both the North and South Poles without warm undergarments for our soldiers? All right. Now the objective is all colonial governors are ever ordered to lend the support to the military campaign. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Objective build one plantation cotton. Your mantle will be extended by six months. Okay, let's pause. Um, I believe it is. It's on the map. Mm, no, it's not the map. I just have to get used to the controls again. I haven't played this in a long while. Pineapple. What did you say? One. Uh, cotton. What is mm. What is cotton again? Oh, cotton. Too far, I'm stupid. All right. Good places for cotton. Over here, I think it's a good plantation farm. Uh, let's see corn. Yeah, corn is good. Coffee is good there. Banana is also good there. Sugar. Yeah, sugar is good. Tobacco is really good there. Pineapple. Oh, it's alright there. Yeah. yeah, I think the best thing to do is to build a road over here and put our cotton farm and our, a bunch of our farms over here and get it away from the main city area. I think that's the best time we can do at the moment. So let's get it started. Build the road as straight as possible because it, it decreases the time we oh yeah right I forgot. Um when you're in colonial age you have to explore. But never fear, my soldiers are on the march and let's get that started again. Put these on the high so that they can Greetings, old chap. Have I got a deal for you today? As Crown Representative, I can offer you your very own trading license. Alright, this is basically just by trading licenses and everything like that. Um, I don't know what I should do here. Buy silver package. I can sort you the silver package and the trading license and a free trade to power for man to resolve I pay from the dragon back that includes all features of the silver package as well as not one, not two, but three special trade offers to start the all. Uh, how much money do we have? We have four thousand. Let's buy the silver package, I think that would be a wise choice to do for a moment. Until I have money, so let's get that on the way. Okay, six months until the next ship, so let's get that going. And also, until, while I still have money, let's get on country houses also. 
let's situate them at this point for now. Oh, there we go. Let's set this time. Alright, no more missions at the moment. Well, so far it's looking good. Um, the team search are being. Yeah, the team search office is being built. The construction office is being built. Country houses are going to be shortly. And our revenue is going to go up, so that's also good. And we're in the minus, but that doesn't continue all too much yet. Hopefully. Um, I did, however. Charge! Um, make a big bubble here. So I, to to I didn't want to tell them to explore here. I wanted to do it to do it here. So yeah, my bad, but. Open, but luckily they are already there, so just a small run from there to there. And when's the ship coming in? Alright, it should be coming in now. At least I'm, I'm still going to be in the red, but still it's going to be less than what it is now. Oh. Technological progress is the path to autonomy, Governor. We need more scientists to think important thoughts and discover new... stuff. To, to discover new stuff, really, is that the best way you can come up with. Alright, build a library, you will receive more tasks. I'll accept it, I'm going to build a library eventually, but... Not at the moment, because I don't have enough money. Oh, these shacks. I hate freaking shacks. No offense to all the people living in shacks, but... In the game-wise, shacks are really a big problem because they are the ones that are increasing your revolt risk and everything like that. Hey, here I am! Presidente! Antonio El Presidente! El Presidente, El Presidente of course. All the different soldiers in the team of Okay, now I can build the road. Alright. Now we're gonna have to build it a little like this. There we go. Oh, here's an oil well. I didn't even see that. That's good, actually. Because oil is an important industry to get early on into, and it gives you a lot of money, so that is good. That's the. Um. Why am I jumping out there? Only for goods, raw resources. That's what I want. Plantation. Cotton. Yes. Put it over here. And while we're at it, it oh well unlocking cold war. Okay, can't do that yet. And let's put a tobacco farm over here while we're at it. And about yeah no, let's, let's put it about here. I might be a little bit in the red, but I need to make to spend money to make money, so this will hopefully achieve that. Yes, the ground says me five thousand dollars. That's good. So hopefully my revenue will go up now that this is now that these two places will be going up very shortly, so oh, and shacks. Demolish. No, not the road, you idiot. Ah, oh, I hate it when I do that. There we go. I'm kinda debating with myself to demolish this one team to office to put it over here. Or the construction office, I'm not really sure. I'll wait until these places are finished and I don't have anything constructed and then I'll do that. There we go. His Royal Majesty has instructed me to present you with this letter of commendation for your achievements in the name of the Empire. Alright, I'll take the additional mandate extension, 12 months mandate extension, which is quite kind of useful because you are still under the rule of the English in the colonial era, so you'll definitely need that. Um, I did the uh, construction office, put it over here. Slowly but surely I'll take care of this place and demolish it. Alright, then another shack, of course. Will pop in its place. Put that on high. 
Oh good, the cotton is quickly filling up and the tobacco as well. My revenue will be going up quickly with that. So. Your family's rather rollicking love life has led to an unexpected pregnancy. Ooh. No. It was only for one night. I didn't mean it. I mean, it was just a, just fun and games for me, personally, but you know it is. Alright, pay to keep things quiet. What, then I get $5,000? I like a good scandal. Um, oh, let's build a cat. Let's build a missionary or whatever. I'll, I'll, I'll need it eventually, so... Rather build it now than later. Let's build it. Um, yeah, let's build it over here. Right at the road. Also, while we're at it, can we, no, we can't build a parking lot yet. So I'll leave a space open over here so that the teachers and the work construction office can get cars in the future. Yeah, it's built a bit because apparently I'm getting a child in a couple of months, so... I hope I built this place in the right order. As the heir was born, all animals became quiet. A light shone through the skies, and La Chupacabra herself went to the crib and bowed to the infant. At least, that is what we will write in the history books. Oh no, naturally, that's what we'll write in the history books. I mean... You don't want to do that, do not write that in the history book, I mean, that just sounds cool. So this building construction cost, cost decreased by 5%, increase of tourism by 5%. Uh, let's take Union here. Whoa! No, I don't want... She looks older than the first one. No, no. Why is she old? No. Why are all the women in this game so old? No, this isn't going to work. Where, where do you change faces? Um, come on. Um, right, let's make you grass green. Yeah, and the red short, that'll work. No, not bald. Oh, yeah. Uh, no. I should, I should have just aborted. Just abort the child. Um, hair color blonde, yes, hat blonde. Actually, yes, put on, put on that, please, please, just put on something, something to hide the face. Uh, not the construction armor. Yeah, uh, let's put on that and please put, just, just put the mask on or something. <laughs> Clown nose, pacifier. Um, yeah, those will work. Customize. I just wish I could change your face. Oh. I do apologize if it's hurting your eyes. It's hurting my eyes as well. But, you know, she, she won't be in real power, actually. She'll just be a political figure. She won't have real power. Let's build some country houses. So we can build there. There we go. And some roads as well. Right. His Majesty's military campaign is not going well. The Scots, with their fancy kilts, are rampaging through both poles unopposed. We need more undergarments now! Why would you. Okay, I get that the poles are really cold and all, but really? Just. Just. Uh, it doesn't make sense. To be honest, but alright. Why would the British... They have so many sheep and they can't make enough cotton for all their soldiers. That just does, doesn't make sense to me, personally, but, you know. That's just me. Alright. Nothing is building at the moment. So... How much is a library? Library, library... Um... Yeah, I can do it. Library. Okay, firstly I'll have to demolish this inter office and build another one over here. There we go. And library. There we go. Library. 
and put it on high and put the team which is also on high. Plantation cotton. The cotton is actually really coming in handy so far. So I sh uh, no, I don't have enough money to build another plantation. So we'll just wait on that. Okay, here's mines over here. So when I get money again, I'll definitely have to check these out. Because I need more money. This is just one thing I don't really get, right? They build a shack right behind the house. I mean, that just doesn't make sense, to be honest. Right, let's just put the budget down of the houses. That should... There we go. That should make them more susceptible to go into the houses. Alright. Hopefully we'll get some college workers soon. And also, how much is a plantation? Oh, we can actually afford one. Let's get a another tobacco one up and running. Can we build over here? Because we no. I am actually quite in a problem for space over here, actually. Because we have the oil well. Actually, I'll just remove the, the farm when the oil well is ready to be built, but well, actually, let's just make a plan. There we go. And another plantation. Let's make more cotton. There we go. More farms, more money, more happiness. We have some... Yes, we do. Still don't have anyone in the library, but hopefully we'll get some people soon. Yes, the expected revenue is now going way up. And we almost have enough exported cotton, so that's also good news. And here's the ship. The trade ship. We've already grown from 75 people to 94, so I have to say I'm I good. found this book in your office, Governor. It's written by Comrade Marx, and it has some interesting ideas on how we should build our society. Build a new logging camp. Um, revolutionary support. Yeah, His Royal it. Majesty has instructed me to present you with this letter of commendation for your achievement. Okay. Now a logging camp. Now a good place for this should be where a lot of trees are, right? Um, which is over here. Actually, it's a good, a, a really good place, but. Yeah, let's build it. Uh, how does this even work? Oh, okay, now it's now. It's, there we go. I found this book in your up. Elections? What elections? <laughs> <laughs> I love that one. Elections? What elections? So let's take the sickle, the table, and the shovel. Okay, we have some people in the library finally, so that's good news. And while we're at it, what can we do also that gives us some money? Let's put in. Nope. What can we do? What can we do? Oh, I'll just probably wait. Okay, we have some money now. Alright, let's see raw resources, a ranch. Oh, there's a nice ranch area actually. Cattle for milk and meat, yeah, let's do that. Another ranch for pigs. Actually, let's go with llamas. Over here somewhere. Uneven terrain. This is the problem actually. I, there's just so many places with uneven terrain. Um, okay. 
Okay. Actually, there's still some rows. We go here. And uh, I hate this part. There we go. Rows. And there we go. Now all we have to do is put this road like this. And put some more. Okay, I don't have any bush, I have to put it like that. And let's build some more residential places. I'll make a mansion over here. And a mansion over here. Because you have to have some mansions in your town. I mean, come on, that's just a rule, right? There we go. And I'm now out of money. Now we'll have to wait. But I, I think, think we have to do your efforts. The revolutionary movement is growing stronger. But I have, I have to, to say, say um, all right, let's just see. I'll, I'll take the four thousand. Um, I have to say, say that, that we have, have done a lot in one episode. We have a, a, a ton of farms and uh, ranches, which I'm really proud of. So. Hopefully we can continue this trend and hopefully a disaster doesn't hit the town in a really imminent time, so let's put in a lovely garden here, because why not? Or actually no, a better idea, a grocery over here, and then a garden, large garden. Next, next is like that and like that. That's lovely. I like that. And it even connects over there, so I like that. That's actually a, a cool mechanic in the game. I haven't seen that before, actually. And these houses will provide more input, provide more stability and not more shacks for all these people the leaf, the shacks the the shacks in a flash of brilliance his royal majesty figured out how to fix all of your island's problems through the construction of a single building Okay, I think I have one of those, don't I? No, I wanted to build one of those. Yeah, ranch, alarm, yeah, I wanted to build one of those. Yeah, I'll build one of them way over here. There we go. These guys are chopping down trees, I believe. Now I'll tell these guys to get their budget lower. My good fellow, I have it from a very reliable source that there be gold in them there hills, boy. I suggest you send some men to find it. Okay. Uh, that's, that's actually what, what I wanted, wanted to do, so you stole my idea. You stole the El Presidente's idea. I will send my test squad on you and kill you in your sleep. No, not really. Not yet, anyways. His Royal Majesty has instructed me to present you. Okay, very much. Thank you very much. Go, go, go. And the Molish. I, I wish there was just a, a hot key button for the Molish. Maybe there is, and I'm just being stupid. But that that may be my my thing. But at least my money is almost in the green, so. And come on, soldiers. What does this button do? I don't know. Crates! While searching through the crates of colony supplies, we found a sickle! 
Now we have something that goes perfectly with our hammers. This will boost production sky high. I can almost see the glorious future. Viva la... What is this country again? Um, Tropica. 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 Viva la Tropica. My bad. Oh, cool. This is a good resource, actually. I'd give my life and if it would be. Let's explore this place. Uh, nope. Not what I wanted. Research. Let's... Nope. Let's put in the shovel first and then the boys. Because I actually want this coal because coal is a really valuable res resource to have. This, has, this is actually a big island. Oh, oh and, and there goes my time. Well, I would uh, like to thank everyone that is watching this video. I would like to thank you. You're helping, out me. You're helping me out a lot. Um, if you like the video, click the thumbs up button and subscribe to stay in tune for more tropical videos and a lot more videos in fact. And hope to see you next time. Thank you, take care and goodbye.